In this video we are going to show you how to remove the radio uh, display and the CD player for Mini Cooper 2008. Uh, the tools that you need is the fl small flat screwdriver, a dashboard removal tool and the size T20 and T27 uh, Torx screwdriver. Uh, the first step is to remove the vent, air conditioning vent above the dashboard. The only to, to get it that you have to pull those clips out on both sides. You just grab. You, you can just use your fingers and pull those tabs out. You don't need any tools to do that. Once you get those tabs out, then you will be able to see two Torx screw, one on each side. You have to put your screwdriver in an angle in order to be able to get them out. And make sure you use the magnetic screwdriver with the Torx head so the screw won't fall back into the vent. Uh, the next step is to remove the tachometer. To do that, you use the T27 Torx screwdriver and you remove the two mounting screws. You have to tilt the steering wheel down all the way and then you would be able to see those uh, screws, one on each side. Once you get the screws out, then you would be able to remove the tachometer and just leave it to the side. Okay, now that you remove the tachometer, you have to remove the panel behind the tachometer. In order to use the, to get the panel out, you have to use a dashboard removal tool and your hands to pop the out. It doesn't have any screws, you just have to pop the panel out. I'll show you where the clips are. These one, two, three clips that they need to be popped out. Now you open the glove box compartment and then you need to remove this cover next to the air conditioning vent. Use a flat screwdriver or a, just a hook and then you can take the cover off. So this way you can get access to the, uh, the mounting screws. Um, in this step you need to remove the cover under the steering wheel above the brake pedal. To do that one you need to remove three screws the size uh, T20 Torx. Once you remove those screws then you would be able to pop the panel out. Just, you can just force it out without any tools, it pops out. And once you drop the panel, then you can get the side panel for the center console out. And now we take the side panel for the center console out on the passenger side. You use the dashboard removal tool and you just pull the cover out. In this step you need to pull the cover the out. Actually you pull it down under the air conditioning switches it has two clips there's no screws involved you just have to pull it down uh, now that we got all of the panels out you start taking uh, the screws out the first screw you remove is under the switches for the air conditioning in the compartment at the center there's only one there you take that one out and then you take the screws for the side panel out and then next to the air conditioning vent close to the glove box 
and then on the driver's side you take those screws out on the dashboard and then you go to the side panel the same as the side panel for the passenger side this is the driver's side Uh, I forgot to mention uh, there are more screws. The two on the under underneath the ignition switch cover, and and the three under the glove box cover. Three of them. You need to remove those three screws also. Two, three on the passenger side, and the two on the driver side under the ignition switch. Once you remove those. Then you would be able to start taking the cover for the radio and the speedometer out. You just have it just snaps out. And now you can remove the cover for the CD player and the radio. Just disconnect the plug underneath. Once you get the plugs disconnected for the air conditioning switch, you can just move the panel uh, to the left. It would be all of the way. And now you have a complete access to the mounting screws for the radio, CD player, and the display, and the speedometer cluster. As I'm pointing at these screws, you can remove all these screws and then you can remove the radio cluster and the CD player as one piece. And the usually common problem with this unit, the LCD in the middle of the speedometer cluster, that goes out or gets scrambled or sometimes the CD player goes bad. So if you need any repair for the cluster or the CD player or the LCD, you can send it to High Tech Electronic Services in Van Nuys, California, 818-785-8085.